What's up everyone, welcome back to my top 10 setups of the day series. Before we get started, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more of these amazing setups. Kickstart our list, we've got this setup from Mamba350, who very recently moved their setup to their dining room due to the pandemic. First off, your eyes are instantly drawn to that huge Samsung CRG90 ultra wide monitor, below which you can spot some Logitech Z623 2.1 speakers. This setup is being run by a pre-built Alienware Aurora R11 case, but you can also spot a very popular Omen 15 gaming laptop on the right. I do like the actual gear in this setup, but I'm not a huge fan of having it in the dining room, as it kind of feels like it's in the middle of everywhere. Other than that though, this is a great setup. Our next setup comes from the Missing Taco and is a fantastic and yet simple build. That nice dark wood desk is an uplift V2 rubber wood 72 inch desk and you can also spot the Herman Miller Aeron chair. On the desk they've got an MX Master 3S mouse and a moon tower for their main keyboard which is sitting on a GMK Bento desk mat alongside a HHKB keyboard on the left. The nifty monitor stand is holding up a pair of Logitech Z625 speakers and a very nice LG Ultra Gear 27G 950B monitor. I really like the simplicity and minimalism of this build as it keeps the area from feeling too cluttered or cramped while still being sleek and stylish. Next on the list is this brand new setup from Curdy1128. Whilst they've said they've still got some decorating to do in the form of plants and wall art, I still really like what they've started with. They're using a Calby countertop from IKEA with a standing desk frame. On the desk, we're looking at a nice Dell monitor with the classic Vivo V001 monitor mount, which appears to be running off of a MacBook Pro. I like all of their peripherals and enjoy the cute plants dotted around the area, but my one major critique of this setup is the lack of a desk pad, which makes using the mask insanely more frustrating. Other than that though, this is a fantastic build and I can't wait to see it when they're done with it. At our number one spot today, we've got Parker Moose's brand new setup. Their nice large desk is a new one that we've actually not seen on this list before. It's an Article Madeira desk. Below the desk, you can spot their Alienware R10 PC, which is the second one they've actually seen in this video today. Taking a look at their peripherals, you can of course see that they're using a dual monitor setup, with both monitors being backlit by the incredibly popular Philips Hue Play light bars. I'd love to get a close look at this setup to see what the other peripherals look like and to get an idea of how it all comes together. The OP didn't hold back too much on the decoration, with a really nice cool panel of wood behind the monitors that adds a nice bit of texture to the walls, and it looks even better with the light from the monitors. They also have a few cute plants on the desk that add some much needed colour to the setup. Whilst this might not be the best angle to view this setup, it still manages to look fantastic. Up next we've got this very dark setup coming from Hen7. On the left of the photo you can see their PC which somehow all manages to fit in the tiny metal fish G5 Plus case. I love seeing more and more of these mini cases showing up as they take up a lot less room on the desk and they actually compare to the bigger counterparts decently well. Front and centre in the build you'll notice their awesome keyboard and mouse which include the Wormier 66 keyboard which adds some awesome RGB. And then they've got the always popular glorious Model O mouse. Over on the right you'll notice a mounted headset which is a pair of Logitech G733s. On one hand I would love to see more lighting so you can really see the setup, but on the other hand I really like how dark this setup is which lets it stand apart from the competition. Marking the halfway point in our list today we've got this very fun Star Wars themed minimalistic build from Senor Peck. Showing off that amazing Stormtrooper wallpaper is this very impressive Samsung Odyssey G9 ultra wide monitor that I'm sure that most of you are very familiar with. Below this monitor we've got an awesome custom keyboard using an NK65 V2 keyboard with MT3 black and white keycaps and some Telios switches. This keyboard is sitting on a very nice and a very large Novel Keys Godspeed V2 desk pad. All of this fun gear is plopped onto an autonomous L-Desk in a nice sleek white colour that matches incredibly well with the Stormtrooper theming. Here we have another minimalistic build, this time coming from user OKGreat23. They're using a super cool custom desk made from a walnut butcher's block desktop and a top skeet dual monitor desk room which has got a super nice colour palette to it that it goes really well with the rest of the build. Speaking of matching the build, in a very similar tan colour, they've also got the ever popular Herman Miller Aeron chair, that I'm sure that most of you, and including me, are jealous of. To the right of the monitor, you can spot the OP's PC, 
which features an NZXT H1 case, which I feel like we've suddenly seen a boom of all over this channel, with several setups per video using it. Given that this looks like more of a workspace than a gaming room, I appreciate the toned down colours and decor to help with the productivity, and all in all, this is definitely a place I would not mind working from home in. Our next setup comes to us from Jare and features some super warm and cosy vibes. The focal point of this build is that one mounted monitor, which is a 27 inch Acer Nitro, which not only provides plenty of screen room, but having it mounted leaves you with plenty of room on what looks like a relatively narrow desk. Clearly a fan of music, any musicians will recognise Arturia Mark II musical keyboards that has a nice chunky look to it, but it isn't wide, therefore not taking up a ton of desk space. Last but not least, taking a quick look at their peripherals doesn't show off anything groundbreaking. However, they do have some solid products with a nice and reliable Logitech mouse. Our next setup is from user Armia1234 and is entirely kept under a loft bed. That desk is a sweet L-shaped Eureka ergonomic writing desk that fits in perfectly with the shape of the loft bed. On the desk we've got a very nice dual monitor setup using what appears to be Samsung monitors that are lined up well enough that they almost give the impression of a single ultra wide monitor. Last up they've got a chair brand that I've actually not heard of in the form of a Fergal racing chair. Whilst it might be new to the channel, it looks fantastic both aesthetically and in terms of comfort. The last magnificent setup on our list belongs to Airline Unable, and is a fantastic blend of minimalism with a bit of cyberpunk. The white starkness of the build and the minimal decorations add to the minimalist vibe, whilst the double stacked monitors and RGB heavy PC and the backlit desk add more of a futuristic feel. I really like the glow from the RGB, I would really like to see some more of that with an RGB heavy keyboard, or honestly just by turning the lights off and seeing the RGB glow by itself. That being said, this is still a fantastic build. And that is the end of today's list, um, I've got a bit of hay fever so my voiceover isn't the clearest today so apologies for that, but if you want to have a look at any of the gear that I've mentioned, check out the description for a list of all of the products that I've mentioned. If you want to see more of these incredible setups, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss the next episode. Leave a comment down below on which setup you think should have been number one.